So it's no secret anymore, everybody I'm sure has seen some of these Pokemon leaks. There are so many things coming out right now, it is crazy. I really wanted to make a video about this, but life's been crazy, I know you guys know how that is. I just haven't had time to make a video, but this stuff is crazy. So specifically, in this video, I want to talk about Legends EA, and just some of the leaks that have come out about Legends EA. There's not a ton of information, and apparently the leaker that somehow got access to all of this said he's not going to release anything more about Legends EA. So I guess up until this point, currently, there's going to be no more new information. So the newest tweet that I have is about an hour old at this moment of me recording this video. So I'm going to start with the newer one right here. Also, if you guys don't mind leaving a like on this video, subscribing to the channel, and comment how you feel about these leaks. I think they're just insane. I... My favorite thing is just seeing all of, like the unreleased Pokemon. That's like the craziest thing to me. Anyways, Centro Leaks on Twitter, he's the guy or the team, I think it's a team of people that are giving us all these leaks. To my knowledge, they're not the leakers themselves, like they're indirectly giving getting the information. Like they're somehow in communications with the actual leaker. They claim Stunfisk is in the game, which I don't know why this is information that we need about Stunfisk. I don't think he's getting a mega and it's Stunfisk. You know what I mean? Like who I feel like there aren't many major Stunfisk fans out there, so I'm a little confused as to why that's here. The shiny sound from Pokemon Legends Arceus or Arceus is back. That's crazy, and I'm so hyped for that because I actually literally just mentioned that in one of my last videos. Like, I was literally talking about what I would kind of want in Legends EA, and I brought up this, which I think is pretty cool and perfect. So, I think the shiny sound is amazing, and if you don't know what that is, it's basically, since you're in an open world game, there's going to be a bunch of wild Pokemon spawning, and when there is a shiny Pokemon, there's going to be a little sound effect. Which is awesome, because in Scarlet and Violet, there was no sound effects. So if you had a shiny Pokemon like that spawned in, you really had to look close. But with Pokemon Legends Arceus, a little charm would play if, if one spawned in. So apparently that's coming back, which is amazing to hear. I'm so happy about that. The leaker apparently has played the game, which I don't know how credible and true that is specifically because we don't have any screenshots or any gameplay, which I personally don't want any. I, I, I'm honestly completely fine with no more Legends EA leaks. I, I really actually want to wait for this game to be officially released and some official gameplay come out. And the reason why I say like, I don't know how true that is that he's played the game and he says it's enjoyable is because this leaker has already built up so much trust with the community and with Central League. So this guy could really be kind of saying anything and we have to believe him. I'm not saying I don't believe him with the other stuff, but with this specifically playing the game, I don't know how true that is, but he said it's very enjoyable even with the lag, and that's kind of concerning. Like, what does he mean by lag? I hope that's not Scarlet and Violet lag, because in Scarlet and Violet there was just so many random glitches, so many bugs, just too many issues with that game. It's a fun game, don't get me wrong, but you know, there were so many bugs and glitches. Legends Arceus played great. I don't remember really ever running into any lag, maybe like one time throughout my entire gameplay. I'm just hoping the lag is, like, maybe because he can't, like, officially play on, like, the original hardware, like, he can't play it on the Switch, or if he just can't, you know, if he's, like, emulating it so it's probably a little laggy. I, there's no more specific information about that, which I wish there was. I'm hoping that the game is not going to be laggy. I'm going to I'm gonna go on the optimistic side and say the game won't be laggy just because of how laggy Scarlet and Violet were. That Game Freak knows that they can't release a laggy game again so i'm hoping it's not gonna be laggy apparently mega zygarde is officially happening well i guess i shouldn't say officially these are leaks so things are bound to change things can change but apparently mega zygarde is coming which i can't say is a huge surprise because i think that's kind of you know a given especially since the game is going to be based around zygarde basically mega zorora is coming which is awesome that's an amazing pick and the game was apparently officially planned for a 2024 release, which is actually wild to think about because this game was probably started a couple of years ago. You know, that's how games, video games are. You know, they start development several years prior to, you know, when their release date is. So they probably were working on this game and maybe when they had Scarlet and Violet release and all the lag come out. They're, they started freaking out, like the, the poor the poor reception from the fans or c consumers or whatever. But then Game Freak was like, oh my gosh, we cannot release this game 2024. We gotta give it a break. We gotta get spend more time on this. And apparently the game is pretty much almost done though. I'm, there is another tweet. I can't find it right now, but if I can, I'll put it on the screen. But I know I saw this and apparently the game is 
pretty much done like like 99% is pretty much it's pretty much complete like basically just gotta gotta clean up some stuff I think like they need some more side tasks and just like just kind of like the random stuff but like the, the full storyline and everything is the game's pretty much all set in stone and done but that doesn't mean stuff can't change because it still is not going to be released for a couple of months so stuff's definitely going to change another interesting thing is that this is going on the Switch 1. Apparently, Legends EA is only on the Switch 1, which I was really, really, really thinking it was going to be a dual release on the Switch 1 and the next console because that would just make sense as to why it's a 2024 release, and especially since Nintendo, within the next couple of months, is going to announce the next console. They're not going to release it. They're going to announce it, which means it's probably going to come out late 2025 or... It could be 2026 too, like they could be releasing the console in 2026, just because they're announcing it soon doesn't mean they're going to release it, in, you know, soon. But I think that's crazy, and that especially makes me a little nervous about the lag, because the Switch 1 is what the, you know, Scarlet and Violet were on, and those games were pretty laggy, so the Switch is an old console at this point. It's seven years old, and even when it was released, it was older hardware, which is just what Nintendo does, it's fine, because they always optimize their games to look really good on their consoles, but... With it being an old console and everything, and Legends EA being a pretty big game, like, it's, the, the hype is real for Legends EA, especially since they are not giving us anything official, which is crazy, we don't have another trailer yet. But I guess, hopefully, they manage to figure out a way to make the graphics look good and the gameplay smooth and just, just a good experience overall. That's what I'm, that's all I care about. I don't care if it's on the Switch 2 or not, I don't care if the graphics are, like, 4K you know, realistic, like, I don't want it to be, like, realistic, you know what I mean? I just want it to be, like, good aesthetic, like, Breath of the Wild looked so good. I even would say Legends Arceus looked really good, I really enjoyed how Legends Arceus looked. And apparently, Generation 10, I'm not gonna talk too much about Gen 10 in this, because I really wanna do this for another video, apparently, Generation 10 is actually gonna be a dual release. As of right now, apparently, in the files, it's planned to be a dual release, which, like I said, these are leaks, and these are things that are coming out now, and they, they're probably gonna change because Generation 10's coming out in several years, right? So things could still change, but what makes me think that's kind of crazy is because if they're gonna release Generation 10 on the Switch 1 and 2, that means the Switch 2 may actually be like 2026, maybe 2027, probably 2026 more so, and Gen 10 may be like 2027-ish, which is crazy to think because if they're gonna still support the Switch 1, when the Switch 2 is out, that's kind of crazy to me. If it's a dual release, I'm, I'm just wondering wh what's going through their minds and how they're going to actually do that. I think that'd be a really good for the fans because I know there are so many people that will not be able to afford the next console like right when it comes out, of course, because it's a lot of money. You know, it's a couple hundred dollars. Nintendo can't expect everyone that wants a Switch 2 to be able to buy one, you know, right away. Definitely got to save up your money and stuff with that. But as of right now, I think that's all there really is for the Legends EA Leagues. We don't have any screenshots, there's no gameplay, which, like I said, I'm glad, but there's a small part of me that's also a little sad, because I kind of want to see how the game looks, you know what I mean? I want to see how it performs and runs, but I'm so excited to see what other leagues come out of this. Let me know what you guys are excited for, and let me know what leak you think is crazy about this, because I think it's insane, and I'm, I'm honestly a little afraid to even talk about it, because Nintendo... Game Freak, whatever, they can technically, I think, take down these videos, you know what I mean? Like, if you show too much or, like, show actual pictures, I'm pretty sure they can take down your content, which is pretty scary to me, so I'm trying to, like, work around it, you know what I mean? But hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys soon, because I'm really hoping to make a video about the Generation 10 leaks, even though I know everyone's already talked about it. I just, I really want to put in, you know, my thoughts and everything like that, but hope you guys stay tuned for that. I'll see you next time.